Adrian, thanks very much for taking time out to talk to us. We haven't seen you since last March, since the suspension of activities due to COVID-19. It was great, great to be back. I felt like the shortest manager in Athlone Town history there for a while, you know. But look, it, it, it's been a very, very strange time, hasn't it? You know, for everyone uh, right across the, the whole world. So, I mean, it's just trying to adapt to the way things are going and, uh, and uh, go along with what's happening and, and just, just, I suppose, listening to the government and what the guidelines they, they, they give us, you know, and go with that and hopefully we can get back onto the pitch uh, as soon as possible. That's yeah. the main thing, get, get us back onto the pitch. Of course, you know? one of the guidelines, of course, was that there was to be no training or no collective training, shall we say, but I'm sure the lads have been keeping busy on their own in the meantime. Yeah, they have indeed, and we've linked in through uh, Zoom, uh, it's been fantastic, you know, and, and WhatsApp, of course, as well. And just, just touching in with the lads, I, mean, I think touching in with the lads is a huge thing, regardless of training. What's going on, these guys, and girls, I'm sure, as well, j just want to play football, just want to get out and play and be out there, what they've done, every, you know, every day of the week for all their lives, you know, and, and it's a great uh, stress relief, you know, to be able to play. For, to have that taken away from you is a huge thing. You know, so just having that link in with players and even not playing the game but just talking to players and, and, and communicating with people is very important. So I mean, for, for, for on that front it's been very good, very useful to link in with our players, which has been great. You know, but you know, aside of that, they have been working as well, have been doing a bit of training, small bits and uh, trying to do a bit of road running as well. But you know, injuries, have to be careful because they're not used to running on road, so just be careful with that, to roll that back in a small bit. But um, you know, hopefully there is light at the end of the tunnel. Hopefully we can get back, so we'll start with more intensive stuff now coming coming very soon, like you know. But it has been again, as I say, it's been very strange, you know. Yeah, and obviously the, the the top four teams are going back training shortly for their yeah. European commitments, and I suppose we're expected to get back and playing towards the end of August. So we have a few weeks to go yet. But I'm sure, as you say, the lads are keeping fit. I see they've also been doing some Pilates sessions on Zoom and everything. Tara's been brilliant, you know, um, Tara, Tara's our, our physio, she's, she's you know, a Pilates expert, so again, it, it, it's tapping into those resources that we have at the club, which is absolutely brilliant, you know, so she can do that. Um, my Pilates aren't great, <laughs> I, although I did feel about two foot taller after the, partaking in the course, the, 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 the class, but it, it is brilliant, the players love it, um, which is important, you know. So speaking of tapping into things, we, we obviously have the AstroTurf pitch in now, which means that all training from all the teams, from right from senior men, senior women's, right down to the under 13 boys, is all done here. All the matches, all the training, and we also have other clubs coming in doing training. So it's put a, a bit of stress, shall we say, on, on the facilities we have here. So to that end, we're looking to uh, open two new dressing rooms that'll take some of that pressure off. You've heard about the fundraiser that's been organised? Yeah, you know, it, it's, it's a fantastic idea. You know, and I'm aware of the, the link with uh, AC Milan from the famous game, European game, back in 70, 75. You know, and. Uh, Look, to, to have that on board and, and maybe touching with, with, with supporters of the club, you know, older supporters, is brilliant. But, you know, you look here at the facilities and uh, it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, and Eamon, I know yourself, you, you're very busy. I see it firsthand how busy you are here making sure teams can come in and play and are fed afterwards. And, and it's a huge, huge, you know, service you offer here and the club offers, which is absolutely fantastic. And it is become a bit crowded. We're, I suppose, victims of our own success with the facility in terms of the we haven't got enough dressing rooms you know for all the teams that want to play here so it's important that the club try and although it's a fantastic facility as you can see around uh, second to none it, you do need to keep on top of that you do need to invest in it to keep going with the times you know and that's what this fundraiser is about it's about you know you know, I suppose stoking the imagination of people and getting them out there. It's a 5k they can take part in as well and have fun with, you know, and give a few pounds. But they can, I know, you know it's a hard times for everyone, but if you can spare a few pounds, maybe go to the GoFundMe go page yeah. and pledge money towards it, like, you know, because it is for people of that loan, it is for, you know, the football community going forward, you know. Yeah. And, and the players and officials at all levels within the club are all getting behind it. And in fact, uh, the latest count, there's 1,400 euros already in the GoFundMe page, which is a fantastic start, given that the, the event itself doesn't start until next Friday. So yeah, it's, it's a pretty good start, start, isn't it? You know, yeah. It really has, I suppose, captured the imagination of people. And there's a lot of good ones out there as well. Like, you know, so it really is good. Um, I'd be out myself, I have to donate. So that, that'd be going up a few pounds uh, <laughs> as well, a few euros, um, donate, donate myself. But it's part of it, getting out there and getting active. And uh, I suppose the main thing you know I see as well, which is important to me, I, I think, is show your colours. Get out and get a blue and black top on you and get out there and do your run and, and stick your picture in, you know, to go up for Athlone Town representing Athlone, which is brilliant. It's yes, Adrian, thanks very much for stopping into us today and uh, best of luck with the training going forward. And fingers crossed we'll be all back in action soon enough. Please, God, I want to get back on, on the pitch soon. Okay, Eamon, thanks a million. Fair play to you. Thanks, Thank lad, you. Thanks. Bye-bye.